Hi everyone, welcome back to Polarify Consulting, your go-to channel for exploring the cutting edge of technology and science. I'm Ram, and today we're tackling a question that sounds straight out of a sci-fi movie. Can you produce nuclear fusion energy at home? Is it realistic, and what would the implications be if we could? Let's dive right in. First things first, what is nuclear fusion? Simply put, nuclear fusion is the process that powers our sun and stars. It involves combining two light atomic nuclei, like hydrogen, to form a heavier nucleus, such as helium, releasing a tremendous amount of energy in the process. Why fusion? Well, it promises abundant and clean energy. Unlike fossil fuels, fusion produces no greenhouse gases. And compared to nuclear fission, which powers today's nuclear reactors, fusion generates minimal radioactive waste and has no risk of a meltdown. So, where are we with fusion energy today? Big projects like ITIR in France and the National Ignition Facility in the USA are leading the charge. These experimental reactors aim to achieve a self-sustaining fusion reaction. But here's the catch. We haven't yet achieved a net positive energy output, meaning we still need to put in more energy to sustain the reaction than we get out. Even though we're making progress with better superconducting magnets and plasma control, fusion remains a huge technical challenge. It requires temperatures hotter than the sun's core, millions of degrees Celsius, and precise control to keep the reaction stable. Now let's get to the big question. Can you produce nuclear fusion energy at home? The short answer is no, and here's why. Fusion requires incredibly sophisticated and expensive equipment to create and sustain the necessary conditions. We're talking about powerful magnetic fields, advanced cooling systems, and precise control mechanisms, all of which are way beyond what's feasible in a typical home setup. Plus, there are serious safety concerns. Handling materials and technologies involved in fusion, like high-energy lasers or strong magnetic fields, poses significant risks. Without professional-grade containment and safety protocols, attempting fusion at home would be extremely dangerous. And let's not forget the regulatory barriers. Fusion experiments are heavily regulated due to the potential risks and the use of radioactive materials like tritium. Most individuals wouldn't be legally allowed to attempt producing fusion energy independently. But what if we did overcome these challenges and fusion energy became accessible to everyone? The implications would be massive. Imagine a world with clean and abundant energy. Fusion could significantly reduce our reliance on fossil fuels, helping to mitigate climate change and reduce pollution. Energy security would improve too. Countries could achieve greater independence from oil-rich regions, reducing geopolitical tensions related to energy resources. And think about the economic benefits. Fusion could lower energy costs in the long run, create high-skilled jobs in research and engineering, and drive global economic growth. However, there are also significant challenges and ethical concerns to consider. For one, the infrastructure overhaul needed to transition to fusion energy would be enormous. Existing power grids and energy storage systems would need major upgrades. There's also the risk of economic disruption. Industries reliant on fossil fuels might decline, necessitating strategies for workforce retraining and economic diversification. And while fusion is cleaner than fission, there are still environmental considerations like handling neutron-activated materials and sourcing fusion fuel responsibly. Lastly, nuclear proliferation is a concern. Although fusion itself isn't used for weapons, the technology and materials involved could potentially be misused. So what does the future hold for fusion energy? Experts predict that practical and commercially viable fusion energy could be achieved within the next few decades. Some optimistic estimates suggest breakthroughs in the 2030 or 2040. Key milestones to watch include ITER's success in achieving net positive energy output and the continued innovations from private fusion companies like Commonwealth Fusion Systems and TAE Technologies. International collaboration will also be crucial. Global partnerships and knowledge sharing can help overcome the technical and financial challenges of fusion energy. As fusion technology advances, we can expect AI and quantum computing to play significant roles in optimizing and controlling fusion reactions, making the dream of clean, limitless energy a reality. 
While producing nuclear fusion energy at home remains firmly in the realm of science fiction, the pursuit of fusion energy holds immense promise for the future of global energy. As research progresses and technological barriers are gradually overcome, fusion could one day play a pivotal role in powering our world sustainably and efficiently. Thanks for watching this deep dive into nuclear fusion energy. If you found this video interesting, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to Polarify Consulting and hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode. And let us know in the comments, what other tech topics are you curious about? We'd love to hear your thoughts. Stay curious and we'll see you in the next video.